coolest reviews. The funnest shit. Nailing the fuck out of it every damn day of the week. It's Grip's Toy Show Action Inside a Figure Review. I am your host, Ebenezer Middlestore. Out of touch, huh? Well, you think you're so awesome? How about you try your luck at creating a superstar, huh? Son of a bitch. Let's see if you motherfuckers can make new stupid stars. Yeah. Hell, League of Filterfish. Today we're gonna do a review of these Part Bricks Series 2. It's the new Mattel Create a WWE Superstar. Endless ways to build bullshit. Look at this horny son of a bitch shit miss. And over here, I want to find she. Another Kane. Kane was in Series 1. And then we got Stone Cold Steve Austin, Randy Abortion. We got a zombie set. We got martial arts sets. And we got special plops. Grim got all these sets from WrestlingFigures.com using discount code Grim at checkout to save 10%. But if you were going to try to convince me to buy this bullshit, it's going to need to be 100% off. <laughs> Failed it. Holy sheep shit on a shingle. The bullshit on the back of the box represents the WWE circa 1993, when every gimmick was awful. Remember they had, like, the goon and Max Moon? They even had an asshole dress up like a clown once and wrestle. I think his name was John Cena or something. I think the thing that pisses me off the most about these bitches is that the bastards come pre-broke. They already ripped his fucking arms off. I wanted to break this shit myself. What a waste. So here is Celtic warrior Seamus. But unfortunately for this fucker, he looks like he's about to shit the bed at a Halloween costume contest. Failed it. Here is another inspired idea from the jackass jerk-offs at the creative team. Let's dress up Kane like a vampire. No wonder the motherfucker won't retire. The asshole's immortal. Shut your mouth, asshole. The Undertaker was a supernatural character. He's one of the most over in decades. Yeah, Vampire Kane is going to take the reins as the next phenom. Yeah. What the hell is this shit? Praying Mantis, Randy Orton? I don't know. I kind of think my creative superstars are much better. Here we have Charlotte's Web, Stone Cold Bear Austin, and Summer Rae Mysterio. I nailed it times ten. <laughs> <laughs> this is the shittiest shit that has ever shitted out of an asshole. <laughs> the son of a bitch looks like a praying mantis stupid hero with claws Freddy Krueger style. This is such shit. I think that this terrible Randy Orton figure deserves a JRKO out of nowhere. JRKO out of nowhere. <laughs> I hear voices in my head, they counsel me, they understand, they talk to me, they tell me this figure so I agree, JR, but this is his face, wearing some type of bug-eyed viper mask. This bitch looks ridiculous. From the back, the asshole kind of looks like Aquaman became an exterminator. Upon further inspection of the logo on his chest, I think this son of a bitch would better belong in the He-Man universe, living in Snake Mountain, than the WWE universe. Too stupid! Meanwhile, my own creator wrestler, Boloff, cannot believe this shit is going on. Wait a minute! Boloff? That's pure genius! Yeah! We're gonna push this carrot-faced cocksucker right to the main event! Yeah! Come on, creative team! Make him look strong! Now, wouldn't this have been a lot better than just some bald guy in black trunks rolling around not doing shit? I mean, look at him now. He actually looks like something. He's amazing looking. Well, let me tell you something, Vince. You wanted to dress me up like some type of S&M homosexual cowboy. Uh-uh. Oh, Stone Cold Steve Austin says I'm going to roll around in black trunks and become the most popular superstar of all time. You didn't have to dress me up like a jackass. A jackass? Oh, that's amazing! For Create a Superstar Series 3, make a Stone Cold pack-in with donkey parts so you can dress up Stone Cold like a jackass. Yeah. <laughs> you know what this shit reminds me of? It's fun to stay at the YMCA. This figure is of S-C-S-A. That stands for Stone Cold Steve Austin. He looks like sadomasochism. He likes to dance with all the gay boys. And now it's time to buckle your safety belts because we're moving into the deluxe sets that come with extra parts and boners and all kinds of stupid stuff. This is going to be bad, folks. The first fail we're going to look at is the Roman Reigns Policeman set. <laughs> One of the members of the shield actually comes with a policeman shield. It's shitty. And it comes with all these extra bonus parts down here. You can actually put the motherfucker under a mask. It comes with extra arms, a taser, and handcuffs. And with these solid steel metallic arms, the asshole kind of reminds me of Jax from Mortal Kombat. Uh-oh, here comes Vince. 
Yeah, we're having trouble getting this kid over with the audience. But if we dress him up like a police officer, a real American hero, that will resonate with the crowd and he will be beloved by millions. Right? I mean, everybody loves cops, right? What? Oh, Mr. McMuffin, you're so old and out of touch. Holy a filter fish. Let's lighten the mood back up from that awkward situation, because this is probably my favorite fail of this entire series. It's the zombie set. It comes with an extra head. And this is his face. He's got jolly green giant jerk-off arms, a solid steel breakaway tombstone, and the Undertaker has got bony arms. <laughs> <laughs> this asshole! It comes with a cloak and everything! <laughs> Too stupid! They failed this time! It's 45 million! Uh, rest in pieces! Uh. <laughs> now this here, in my opinion, is a quality stupid star. I can't believe we've tried Samurai so many times and it never got over. But we're gonna repackage Seth Rollins into Samurai Seth Rollins. And you're all gonna like him. Yeah, he's gonna be the greatest. Yeah, look at that attire. Yeah. <laughs> Samurai Seth Rollins. And this is his face. Let's see if we can peel off this terrible fucking mask. Get off. There he is. Samurai Seth Rollins. He actually comes with another face if you want to hide it under there. I don't know who the hell's that supposed to be. Maybe Dean Malenko, perhaps? I'm not exactly positive. But look at the son of a bitch comes with a kendo stick, and he's got flames on his fists. For when he punches, he's like, Ooh. Ooh. Oh, yeah, flaming punching. Oh, wait a minute. I think Samurai Seth Rollins has a sex tip for us. Dudes, here's another sex tip with Samurai Seth Rollins. If you want to suck on the sushi, dude, you better bring a big egg roll, bro. I almost forgot to show you guys that each figure comes with a terrible tattoo sticker set that are not stickers. You actually physically have to cut each one out and then use water to stick it on the already terrible looking figure. Why would I ruin my terrible figures with these shitty looking stickers? Too stupid. Failed it. What a waste. And I showed everybody how to apply them in the Wave 1 figure review, so it was a terrible time and I don't ever want to do it again. So watch that video if you want to see how to do these. What the hell's going on here? I don't know, but what I do know is that in Creative Stupid Star Series 3, we're going to have Gay Wyatt. And you can dress him up in pretty dresses and put on his purse. He'll even come with a flowery hat. Hi, baby booster bitch. You want to buy me for my new flowery hat? I'll tell you what's going on. It's going to be the greatest matchup of all time. It's the Halloween Costume Battle Royal. Brought to you by Mr. McMuffin. Yeah. Now, wait a minute, I think DGDX Animation told us to do this. But, oh my god, it's the Halloween Costume Battle Royal! No! Oh! Holy sheep shit on a shingle, the bony arms of the Undertaker picks up Samurai Sister Oh! They all tumble over the top! Oh my god, shit miss! And Randy Abortion Praying Mantis Prick have all been eliminated! Oh, baby booster bitch, you look super sexy as a gay cowboy. Wanna come home and ride my baloney pony? God Almighty, Stone Cold taking Gay Wyatt up on his offer. He grabs him by the ball back. No! Oh, he tosses him to the outside. Well, now wait a minute, Twilight Sparkle Cocaine. He grabs Stone Cold Steve Austin. He's going to... Oh, he just gave him the Coke Slam right onto those solid steel tattoo sheets. Oh, wait a minute. Here comes Roman Reigns with those solid steel fists of fury. Oh, Superhero Knuckle Sandwich just takes down Twilight Sparkle Edward Cocaine. And now look at this. Roman Reigns has put on his Riot mask! How the fuck did he fit all his hair in there? That's what I want to know! He's picking them both up! And he flings those fuckers right out of the ring! But wait a minute, Roman Rape is stunned! He can't believe his eyes! Yeah, what the fuck? What the fuck, she? You forgot I could fly, she? I got wings, she? Yeah. Holy ass fucking Asian honeybees! There's just no way to defeat Vampire Kane! Oh! He eliminates Roman Rape! The motherfucker can fly! You can throw him over the top, but he's never gonna land! He's feet on the floor! Look at him celebrating his victory! It's 2015, and Kane is still winning matches! Fuck you! Stop talking bad about Kane! Look at him! He's one of the greatest stupid stars of all time! He's fantastic! Yeah, you're fat! You don't know anything! Yeah! Hey, Mr. McMuffin, maybe for Creative Stupid Star Series 3, you can make a cocaine figure come with a walker, a rocking chair, dentures, and he can be Grandpa Kane! <laughs> nailed it. Thanks for watching the video! Click this one right here in case you missed something funny! And please like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe! Follow more! Nailed it!